Do you want to write epic restaurant reviews? Then you need my masterclass. My name is Julie Cogan. I'm an award-winning food and travel writer. Luckily, a job that takes me all over the world. One of my favourite parts of this job is writing restaurant reviews. So, if you have a food blog, write reviews for social media, or just enjoy eating out, this is the masterclass for you. So let's get on with it. And the first and most important step is how to set up a food review. What is a food review? Let's write that down. <laughs> what is a food review? This might sound really silly and obvious, but it's really important to know what your aim is and what the purpose of the review is. Uh, is it to help people make a decision in where to eat or is it to inspire someone to try a new cuisine they haven't uh, encountered before? Um, it's as simple as that really. Step two, there's two types of review. Let's write that down. There's the one you get invited to by a PR. Uh, it could be a launch night or a new night at the, at the restaurant and they're giving it to you for free, which is great. Everyone loves that. But it does come with a bit of red tape. You're more obliged to give a, a, a positive review. So just think about that. Uh, no such thing as a free lunch, as they say. And the New York Times take that uh, famously, literally, they have a ban on all free reviews so that their journalists can be objective. Uh, the other ones are going uh, incognito. So the restaurant have no idea that you're reviewing them and you can basically say what you like. So it's up to you which one you go for, really. The third point is read other reviews. We'll write that down in case you forget. This could be uh, going with the old timers like Jay Rayner, The Guardian, Grace Dent, Giles Corrin. See how they uh, formulate their reviews, what they're looking out for. It could be your favourite food blog or someone that's just started on social media um, writing about restaurants. You can lap up what they've been saying and then take a completely fresh take. The next one is write what you know. And we will write that down. Now, this is just a good thing to keep in mind so that you can give something of yourself in the review uh, and a kind of personal spin on it. So it could be a new restaurant in your area. You'll know what has come before and why it fills a gap for people in, in that area. Um, it could be that you know the cuisine, your grandmother used to cook it for you and you can kind of compare that um, and yeah, just sort of really put something of yourself in there. Next one is, what are you reviewing? Let's write that one down too. Don't say a restaurant, because that's really obvious. Um, it could be a new restaurant, it could be a new menu, it could be a new chef. Um, does it even have to be brand new? It could be a classic restaurant that's had an anniversary. Or um, it's basically, this is all about looking for a new angle and a, a hook on it and a reason for what you're reviewing and why you're doing it. The final step is what time of day are you going? So let's write that down. Again, this might sound uh, a little bit obvious as well, a bit silly to say, but if the place is really uh, getting loads of buzz about its brunch on a Sunday, don't book a dinner on a Tuesday. Uh, or if they've got this really long tasting menu, uh, go on a Saturday and take your time. Don't try and cram it into a Monday night when no one else is there and uh, you just won't get the same feel for it. So let's review the list. Number one, what is a food review? Know what you're doing before you go in. Number two, there's two types of review and just know the implications on both. One's free, well you have to pick up the bill but there's different things that go into it. Uh, number three, read other reviews. Um, number four, write what you know. Number five, what are you reviewing? What's new? Uh, the menu, the chef, the restaurant. And number six, what time of day are you going? Just get that right so that you can really get the best review uh, and, uh, out of it. So there we are, the first and fundamental step in writing a review. Give it a go. Bye for now.